hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley. um this is a ts tech talks video guys on today's video i'm going to show you guys another method to transfer your data from your iphone to an android now the reason why i'm making this video is that on the previous video i made use of zender and the zender doesn't actually copy your contacts from that phone from your iphone to your um, android but in making use of this other um application you can easily transfer your contact and your calendar from an iphone to an android now let's go ahead and move our data also and then quick tip guys you can also transfer your contact and your data to google drive on your iphone all you need to do is to download google drive and install google drive on your android also log in with the same username and then you um you'll be able to back it up and restore it on your android and also you can make use of um iphone icloud but i only want to show you guys other applications because most of those applications i mentioned the google drive and um the uh icloud is probably self-explanatory and there is already so many tutorials out there for you so um go ahead and click on the play store or apple store now go ahead and search for this application it's called it's called my data no it's called transfer my data right now this is actually the application oh copy my data so um go ahead and type in copy my data and you are going to notice the application display right there i already have it installed but if you don't have it installed yet go ahead and install the application on your device so i'm going to hit open to open the application and you can notice it says this application will help you to copy your contact calendar and photos to another device right this actually works perfectly well for both your android and your iphone if you are doing it from iphone to iphone or android to android it works perfectly well so now you notice on this top area on the iphone go ahead and click on next and on the android click on next on the bottom so um you notice um it displays an information that says um and says um on the android area it says to transfer from another device over wi-fi um, then below it says backup or restore from Google Drive. What you need to select is the first one. Now there is no need to select this because it's already displaying on my iPhone. It's displaying the um, Samsung name. Actually, it just grabs the nearby device. So if there are multiple devices trying to connect, please pay attention to the device name. So right now I have TS Tech Talk. So if you notice, it says select your um, select other device from the list below. Ensure that ensure your other device is running the um copy my data app that you have accepted permission and request all to connected the same wi-fi um actually this is a lot of story all you need to make sure is that the application is running on the same device is running on android and it's also running on iphone and also you need to connect to the same wi-fi if you notice on on this area i'm actually connected to the same wi-fi so um you notice right there so they are the same wi-fi name so all you need to do right now is to connect since we already have the same wi-fi so i'm going to go ahead and tap this on the iphone tap this right there so either you select anywhere you select i can easily say um i want to copy data to the selected device you can do this on the android or on the iphone but i want to do that on the iphone once you tap on it it gives you the code and you need to enter the code that is displayed on this area to your samsung and i'm going to type in 5984 actually i'm making this video for samsung with a samsung device but this actually works perfectly well for every other android device i'm doing this with samsung because i own a samsung device so now go ahead and select what you want to copy now if i choose everything it's going to take longer time so instead of the video to stay longer i'm going to deselect um the camera and the photo but they actually work perfectly well so i'm going to select only the calendar and the contact and now i'm going to click on next and you notice it says send contact it's faster because i don't have much contact and you can notice on my android area is saying processing contact and it's showing one c something to um off five nine so you need to count down all the way from zero to five nine zero so let's wait for it to complete 
All right, so we have successfully sent everything from our calendar to our contact. And guys, this option, this um, banner below is just an advert. So make sure you ignore that. Now, this is a contact that was um, imported from the iPhone. So I'm going to click on finish. And then everything that was imported is actually going to be under our contact. So they are all going to be under our contact and also on our calendar now um all you need to do is to actually go to your contact and then confirm if you have now you notice it says auto sync right now i'm going to click on turn on everything that we um backed up is going to be displayed right there and you notice it says um we found some contacts that have been that have same info the reason why it actually displayed all of this is because i backed up from my samsung to um I backed up from my iPhone to my Samsung and they are actually sharing similar features. So all I need to do is to click, tap and then go ahead and match the <coughs> contacts. Now, the same thing for the calendar. If you go to the calendar area, you are also going to see the backed up calendar. But I don't think I have anything saved actually. But everything I backed up, it's going to be displayed right on my calendar but i really don't have anything that i backed up from that device because i didn't save any reminder on my calendar i only have everything right here so this is all for today's video and also if it's an image you are going to see them on your image gallery all right guys thank you for watching this video if it's helpful smash like and subscribe to the channel if you have any question please leave it on the comment section and i'll be able to answer each and every one of them please stay safe and peace